Hey guys, Torque 17 here, coming at you with a bit of a deep dive into FPS radars and how they work. We have ship radars uh, that I think we're quite familiar with, but newly with 2.6, there is an FPS radar specifically in Star Marine. So I've done some testing in Star Marine, and I'm really trying to figure out just how these these radars work right now. Um, and we knew from a while back, uh, Chris Roberts told us that it will be based on sound. So if you make noise, you will show up on the radar. If you don't, you won't. And it works like that somewhat, and it kind of doesn't work like that in other situations. So uh, we will go into the test in a little bit, but first I want to talk about exactly how radars work, where they're located, how to understand them before we actually figure out their base functionality. All right, I just want to start out by saying your radar is simply located here. Your position on the radar is located right in the center of the map here. There are triangles all around the map that represent other players. There are blue triangles, those represent friendlies. Red triangles represent enemies. There's a line coming out from your position towards those players. If the line is directed down, like here, that means the player is located below you. If the line is pointing up, like here, that means the player is located above you. If the line is directly to the player, that means the player is on the same plane as you are. All right, well, now that we have the basics down, I want to start talking about exactly how the radar functions, how we show up on the radar, and how to avoid being shown on the radar. So let's get right into it. All right, how you show up on a radar is either being seen or being heard. Things that make noise are your feet and your gun. If, you be, if you're seen by somebody, you're going to be seen on their radar. Now, we have Kazu here, who is actually crouching into the room, which is not making any noise, so he doesn't come up on the radar until we see him. In the next example, Kazu's going to walk into the room. Now, you're going to see a similar situation where he doesn't come up on our radar until we see him, but we hear his footsteps, right? Weird. In the next example, we're going to see Kazu running into the room. And so you're going to see Kazu go off the radar when his triangle turns white. He's going to disappear, and then he's going to run into the room. Now, when he runs into the room, he doesn't show up on our radar until we see him. Now, Kazu is not from the United States, and I am. Kazu is from Europe, so his ping is quite high. We did this test here to determine whether or not that is what was causing the issue. So he's on the same physics grid as us and he's running around outside. And as you could see, even though he's running around making tons of noise, the server still kind of wants to avoid and take him off the radar, but he keeps running, and it'll eventually pick him back up. So if you make noise, you show up on the radar. Now in this next example, Kazu starts in EVA. Kazu's outside, we are inside. This test is to determine whether if he's moving around in EVA, will we hear him? You know, our, our EVA thrusters make noise. Are we going to hear that? And the answer to that is no. Unless your feet are on a platform, you're not going to be making any noise. So as you can see, Kazu's flying around. He only shows up when we see him. That's an interesting little thing where players say, well, there's no sound in space. Well, they listened, and there you go. So now this example, Kazu will be firing his gun outside and we're going to see if we hear that weapon. So now Kazu is in the vacuum of space. We're inside where there's oxygen. Now in just a moment, you're going to see some rounds actually fire across this door here. And there they go. Keep an eye on the radar. He's not showing up, correct? He's fired multiple rounds. That's pretty interesting. He is making sounds outside in the vacuum of space, but we don't hear it here because there's no sound in space. Now, Kazu's going to fire from outside into the room, and we're going to see what happens then. Kazu shows up on the radar. So when he fires from outside in the vacuum of space, inside, he shows up in his location. The next example, he's going to throw a grenade. He doesn't show up on the radar until he starts firing. Now in this next section, we're just determining that one round 
will bring you up on the radar rather than multiple, which we confirm here. Now, this next test is one of my favorite. Kezu's actually going to sneak up behind us, and we're going to see if he comes up on our radar. Now, by sneaking, he is pressing control to crouch, and he is walking slowly towards us. Now, we hear him running around, and we're seeing him on the radar because he's running around behind us. Now, he's going to remove himself by on the radar by not moving and not being visual. And then he is going to crouch and walk towards us, and we're going to find that even though we can hear his footsteps crouching, which if you listen really closely, you can hear. He's actually right behind us, and we have no idea. And he just meleeed us. Is really impressive. The next logical step is to ask, what about prone? So right now, as we could see, our friend is removing himself from the radar. And he's now prone crawling towards us. But he's not showing up on the radar either. I find this pretty interesting. Even if he's getting closer, I mean, he's literally tapping his gun on the ground. It's not making any noise. This is, I guess, is considered a stealthy action. So I find this to be pretty cool. And, uh... Yeah, it, it ends pretty funnily. <laughs> so he takes us out there with a grenade, uh, which I found really fun and, and funny. Now, this section, we're going to see if when we're in EVA together, can you sneak up behind somebody? And the answer is quite interesting as well. As again, if you listen closely, you can hear his EVA. And he killed us quite quickly as well without firing a single round. This next part is determining range. So there's a player running around across the map when we're not facing him. So we can't hear him from this distance. But if we turn around, you'll see, as soon as we visualize him, he'll show up on his radar. Now, there's red triangles on everybody's heads when we see them, right? Only at certain ranges. Now, if you could see, point D to our left is 37 meters away. That's directly in between both of us. So you can determine it's about 70 meters to see somebody's triangle above their head. Now this next part is really going to surprise you. It's a test to determine whether or not your teammates allow you to see another player on your radar. So if my teammate sees a player on his radar, do I see it on mine? And the answer is going to surprise you. So Kazu's going to disappear off the radar here while he's still in Windu Jackson's visuals. When New Jackson's going to move around, get him off his visual, bring him back on, still can't see him. Now, Kedzu's going to pop up on the radar here in a second, and it's because he's moving around. So when Kazu makes noise on either Windu's radar or my radar, that's when he becomes visible, which I find very interesting. Now, Kazu's going to go away again, and this time he's going to crouch. And we're going to see if he crouches and moves, is it based on movement or is it based on sound? It's still very difficult to determine whether or not it's my teammate hearing it or me hearing it. Most likely our teammate, but it's completely based on sound. As you can see, you could see Kazu moving on the radar, but since he's crouched, he's not making any sound until he comes into our visual range. That is probably the most interesting thing about all the tests we've done so far. Pretty wild. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this video. I don't do things like this that often. So um, let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. If I missed anything, please comment below. Uh, if I misunderstood anything and, and, and all that. I'm going to leave you here with a little funny clip uh, that me and Kazu had while we were testing. And yeah, um, you know, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I will see you in the next one. Have a great one, everybody, and Happy New Year.